your first time in October as a starter? Feel pretty confident. Um, you know, we have a lot of guys in the locker room that acknowledge the rivalry, acknowledge, you know, what it takes to win, acknowledge, you know, all the hard work that needs to be done during the week so that we can put our best foot forward when it comes to this Saturday. Um, you know, definitely a great week to um, be prepared, um, understand our assignment, and just have a lot of fun, you know, because this is, this is going to be a lot of fun, you know, playing in um, games like this, you know, especially um, for all of us. So um, it's all about locking in today and being our best version of ourselves. Um, have you seen anything on tape, you know, dealing with uh, Tennessee's defense? And, uh, is there any sense of urgency of this week uh, being on the road, especially uh, with the last two weeks at home, you know, uh, you know with uh, South Carolina, uh, they pawn their way back in, and then just, uh, uh, you know, the week before Vanderbilt, the manhole situation. So is there, like, any sense of urgency and, you know, just some things just on tape? Yeah, Tennessee's a great, great football team, especially um, on my end because uh, I play offense, their defense. Their defense is really, really uh, talented. They have a lot of guys um, that play physical. Um, their box is really good. Um, their defensive line adds a lot of pressure on the quarterback when it comes to the run game and passing game. Um, so it's, it's going to be big for us to communicate effectively, um, acknowledge you know where they are trying to stunt, where they're trying to twist, where their pressure is coming from. Um, so, this is, you know, we have to prepare as much as possible and, you know, understand, you know, what they're going to try to give us as far as fits as a group. And so it's just all about preparation. Not that, and I think we're doing a really good job just taking, attacking it day by day, just trying to be the best version of ourselves. Because, um, you know, when it comes to Saturday, it's, that's the time for us to play free. Right now it's for us to build together um, and now is, you know, where we need to be at when it comes to Saturday. Um, but I trust in the guys. You know, we're a really good group that's constantly just trying to get better, constantly just communicating effectively. Um, and then especially Especially, you know, it's going to be important for us to communicate. That's the biggest thing when you go on the road is the communication aspect of it. That's number one. And so, um, but it starts with practice, and so I, and I'm definitely confident in that. When you're in the pocket and the pocket starts to break down, it's hard for any quarterback to stand there knowing you're going to take a shot and deliver from the pocket. Has that been part of your growth and, and maturation? Yeah, I think that's a really good question and statement um, because, you know, especially when you're playing against tough defenses, you know, of course, you don't want to get hit, but that's the part of the game. You know, it's something where you have to lock in your read, have great eye discipline, understand the concept. Because you know, up front, you know, they're doing a good, really good job holding their block. But the more the quarterback holds the ball, you know, that's when the pocket closes. So it's all about playing on time. Um, you know, keying the reads and stuff like that. So as much as I can do that, you know, as much as possible, each and every rep that I have, that helps the offensive line out. And so, you know, especially just playing on time, you know, you know, always trusting my eyes and then, you know, just putting it in our playmakers' hands as much as possible. But, um, you know, I do definitely got to acknowledge, you know, the pass rush when it comes to holding the ball at the quarter position, you just got to get the ball out um, so that we're on the same page and so that we can move the, move the ball effectively. Yeah. Uh, so being a part of, you know, Alabama and being here for now four years, I definitely acknowledge the rivalry, um, you know, especially, you know, what all goes into it. And so for us as players, it's a lot of fun to be a part of, especially Auburn, Tennessee, no matter who we're playing against, it's always great. You know, and it's definitely a lot of motion poured into it. Environment wise, it's always great. And so as players, man, when you go into college, that's something you look forward to. It's just great environments, playing in big games like this. And so we're just all about just locking in and just um, appreciating the moment, you know, and appreciating, you know, being in a situation where, you know, this is where we're allowed to be our best us through preparation. And so it's going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, now being a part of each, each of the rival with Auburn and Tennessee, they're definitely great um, to be a part of. What I remember about Knoxville is that, you know, communication number one, um, when it comes to being effective in the game, uh, controlling your controllables is definitely important when it comes to, you know, staying ahead of the sticks and also just control, controlling the game through your preparation. Um, I think that's so important because, you know, although it's going to be a lot of, you know, it's going to be hectic, you know, as far as the crowd, they want to be involved in the game. It's all about the preparation aspect of it so that you just reflect on your level of training and not, lie, and not rise to the occasion. So um, I think that's going to be important for us to move forward throughout the whole game is through our preparation and how we can just key in to our reads and key in through, through our communication and then also just taking the feedback from our coaches throughout the game. When you're more 
involved in the running game like you were against Georgia, like you were against South Carolina? Does your body feel that on Sunday morning? <laughs> no, definitely. You know, you know, when you when you you know, for me, a quarterback and you know, as a ball carrier, all I want to do is put, you know, my best foot forward for our team and just have ball dominance, you know, play with great detail. And, you know, it comes with it. It comes with it. You know, when it, you know, being a ball carrier, no matter if you're a receiver, quarterback, running back, tight end, you know, you definitely gonna, you know, get some hits. You know, this is all a part of the game. But I definitely got credit to Coach Ballou because Coach Ballou takes care of us, ensuring that we are taken care of in a in a weight room so that, you know, when it comes to playing a physical game, you're good. Is, is it, you've been through one full season as a starter. Is, is it tougher physically in November? In oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. That's, that's 100 percent. You know, it's, that's, yeah, 100 percent. You know, when you're playing against, I, I truly say that, you know, playing in the SEC, you get the best look from everybody when it comes to defensively. And so that it's just all about, you know, taking care of your body because it's a part of the game to get, you know, hit and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's all about taking care of your body. Like you said, like on Sundays, it's so important. Um, and just maximizing every opportunity we have with our, with our uh, training staff because they're going to take care of us. No, absolutely. You know, that's my that's my guy. You know, and we started off as teammates, but now we just have a lifelong relationship, and we can communicate whenever, um, whenever you know, uh, we can. Um, but you know, f for me on my end and his end, it's all about the support system. It's all about support, and that's what I'm, that's what we're both big on is our support system, just guiding each other along the way. Because um, when it comes to a process, it comes with the people that are there for you, and I think that's the best thing that I've had throughout my journey is having the right people around me, and he's definitely one of them. And I'm do the same way for him, it's just supporting him as much as possible. You don't talk about how to play. Oh, no, 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 no. We try to not, we try to stay away from football because, you know, of course, throughout the week, it's so much football. So when we communicate, just, you know, just what we got going on, just checking in with him. You talked uh, a little bit earlier about your, your growth and maturity. What else with that? When you talk about challenging games like, like this weekend, whether it's the environment or who you're playing against, how do those things help you with that? I think what allows someone to be confident is their preparation. And throughout a game, throughout a season, you grow in knowledge through reps and seeing something over and over again. And so now, you know, being a second year starter, you know, it's so much that I've seen when it comes to playing the position and then um, always trying to seek uh, knowledge when it comes from my coaching staff, you know, my teammates, and just understanding, you know, what it takes to be successful. And um, it just it just comes from a growth mindset, just always just trying to learn as much as possible. Um, I truly believe that you learn more from your failures than you do your wins. And so I acknowledge that. And I can definitely credit that to my you know progress as a quarterback. It's just always just constantly trying to grow and uh, acknowledging that I'm not a finished product. Were you aware of the Alabama-Tennessee rivalry growing up in Texas? Or was that kind of like pop your radar? <laughs> so I'm familiar with the OU Texas rivalry personally, you know, growing up in Texas. But, you know, once I got to college, you know, of course, you know, I have a personal experience of being around the rivalry and acknowledge what all goes into it and the rich history behind it and stuff like that. So I can definitely say throughout my four years, I learned more and more about the rivalry. You got to experience that game in Knoxville on the bench. What is it going to be like playing it in front of that, that crowd? And how have you kind of thought about Kind of going out there and dealing with that. No, absolutely. You know, uh, you know, I definitely played on the road before. I know what's required to be successful on the road, and what needs to be taking place at the quarterback position so that our offense can be our best us. Um, and then, you know, now, you know, don't going in Knoxville is going to be so important through the communication. Communication number one, keen into our reads, have great eye discipline. Um, understanding our assignment on each and every play, locking in on to the details and not letting external factors control our controllables. And so um, when we factor that in through our preparation, that's going to allow us to grow throughout the whole game. And that's something we, we're going to try to do, just keep continue to have our foot on the gas, um, acknowledge what we need to do throughout the game, and just communicate the best, best way possible.